welcome you tonight. And at this moment, I would like the gentlemen that are going to be helping us this evening to make their way up to the platform. Come on, let's give a round of applause tonight. We have a special night scheduled here tonight. We want to welcome every guest. We want to welcome our, our city officials here tonight, our special guests here tonight. We're going to have an awesome, awesome time tonight in and, and recognition of the Keys to the Streets Award Ceremony. So with that, let's just give a round of applause. Come on. And at this time, you may be seated. And at this moment, it's my, my privilege and, my, and an honor to introduce our, our, our evening, one of our evening hosts tonight that are hosting this uh, award ceremony. It's a special night tonight. And this gentleman, Terry Hilton, he belongs to SWABA, which he is the president and the founder of Southwest Area Business Association, founder and concerned citizens for Southwest Area Youth, which is his wife, Janet Hilton. So let's give her a warm, warm welcome as well. <laughs> Terry Hilton is also founder and chairman of the Self-Esteem Living Foundation Incorporation. He's a member of the World Boxing Hall of Fame, inducted in 2007. Come on. Senior member of the selection committee. And at this moment, at this time, I would like to invite Terry Hilton up. So let's give him a warm, warm welcome. Thank you, Pastor Gordon. Thank you, Pastor. Pastor Elias is quite a person, and uh, I'll say nice things about me later. I uh, want to thank you all for coming out tonight. There's so many things to do, and i uh, coming out to honor a great man uh, as, as uh, Pastor Jose Guadrama. Uh, there is so, yes, yes, give it up for him. Yeah. Yeah. What we're here about tonight, for some of you who don't know, is that we're here to, uh, take, to honor him by giving him the Take Back the Streets Award. This is going to be an annual award uh, as part of our community awards banquets. Uh, as so many of our, uh, so many people here have been to some of our community awards banquets, we have our 20th year coming up. Uh, last year we honored Henry Trioni, Clem Carnelli, uh, the Pasta King. Uh, this year we're going to be honoring Hugh Cotting uh, and Lee Evans and uh, the new chairman of the uh, tribe, Greg Saris, the, the Federated Indians of Great Rancheria. Uh, all people who have done so much and are doing so much to change uh, S Southwest Santa Rosa and Sonoma County for the better. Uh, the uh, pastor, you, you, let me just start with some of the stuff that, uh, uh, why he was nominated. You know, he has worked uh, s unselfishly to do so many things for the community. The, as you know, huh? Give it up for him. Yeah, there you go. Now, the, for our Cesar Chavez Award, he was nominated by uh, the uh, Concerned Citizens for Southwest Area Youth. It was seconded via telephone call by Lieutenant Governor John Garamendi. Who, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, and these are just some of the reasons why uh, he was nominated. Uh, he uh, has worked to set up alcohol and drug recovery centers. He has worked with the youth in this area. He's worked to build a community youth center for the, for the youth and for the underserved. Uh, as you know, there's a building right here on the corner uh, that uh, all of you got together and you, you bought it for the kids and for the underserved. It is uh, being used right now, uh, almost as we speak, by... Uh, by different churches, uh, different uh, different areas, different preachers, different uh, different ministries. He has also uh, worked uh, hand in hand uh, to help everybody, and I mean everybody uh, in south southwest Santa Rosa and all over the world. 
Now, without, uh, I'm not going to go into uh, all the things he's done because it would take a book and uh, more time than we have right now. But what I want to do is uh, just give you a thumbnail over uh, the, uh, what he's done. The Self-Esteem Living Foundation, Cesar Chavez Award, is the only award that was actually presented by Cesar Chavez himself three weeks before he died. He came to Southwest Santa Rosa right here at Roseland Elementary School and to help us get a community center built and created the award. He handed out the awards himself that night. It's, uh, it, it really chokes me up to think that uh, uh, this is the last place in California Cesar Chavez uh, appeared at before his death. He died three weeks later or else he'd be here right now helping us get that center up. So when... When the Cesar Chavez Award is presented to Pastor Jose Guadrama, uh, it means a whole lot. It's not, it's not just an award. It's given by the man. Huh? Now, the uh, Victory Outreach is international in scope. It is worldwide, 26 countries, 500 ministries like this one here. Uh, this... This happens to be one of the most energetic ministries there is. That's because of all of you. All of you. Give yourselves a hand, huh? Now, with the 500 ministries that out there, you can imagine that it takes a lot of coordination. Uh, Pastor Guadrama is an area director uh, for... The, for a, Gosh, seven, eight, ten. Uh, how many? How many churches uh, are there uh, in the in the area? Seven, seven churches, uh, all throughout the Bay Area. Uh, it's quite a job. He's what's happening here. He's duplicating that and doing it. Seven other churches in the area. Huh? Yes, yes. So, with the. Uh, being an international church, look around you. Look at look at not just the walls or the flags, but look around you and see a, a people. There are people of color everywhere, huh? Isn't this fantastic, huh? The makeup of this church is uh, Asian Americans, African Americans, Latinos, Native Americans. Uh, hey, all right? Yeah, yeah. And isn't, isn't it, isn't it a, a blessing that this church is the church that is working to get things better for everyone here in Southwest Santa Rosa? Yeah. Now, this is the last time I'm going to ask you to do it. But give yourselves a big hand for that. All right, so without further ado, I want to get on because uh, as, uh, as our great mayor, Susan Gorin, who has, who has blessed us with her, uh, her presence here tonight, which makes one great big statement, folks, huh? Uh, Susan Gorin, mayor of Santa Rosa, right here. Huh? Uh, as she knows I can take the mic for hours, so I'm going to get off the mic real fast. What I want to do is I want to introduce a group that has been blessed by this ministry and has also uh, done some things that, uh, with the help of, uh, uh, with the help of uh, the Litton Rancheria and uh, uh, to perform a, and make a video, uh, excuse me, a DVD or is it a, DVD, a CD that is now gone all around the world. And it started right here. This comes from this church and it's all, it's in international now. And this group uh, is 2C Click. If we can get 2C Click up, they're going to perform for you. All right, 2C Click. Here they are. Amen. Um, well, I'm very blessed to be here tonight uh, with you guys. And I just, um, this is our, our rap group and some of the young, young women that are in our youth ministry here in Victory Outreach. And um, I just want to I just want to say uh, real briefly that you know music is used as a heavy tool on our generation. As as a lot of you know, if you watch the news or many times I've I've heard stories of you know people that do murders or killings, and sometimes you know they'll ask them what what 
what drove you to do this? And a couple people sometimes said that oh, the music, the songs I was listening to told me to do this. And they felt like, you know, music was influencing them. And on our generation today, music is a heavy tool to be able for a positive or for a negative thing. And so when I came into the ministry of Victory Outreach, I was, you know, involved in gang activity. I was selling drugs in my high school. I was messed up. And I finally came in to the ministry of Victory Outreach. And I believe the Lord gave me a gift when I was little to be able to rap and minister. So I said, you know what, I'm going to take this gift that God gave me and be able to do something positive with my generation that the world that the world has taken a gift and an ability that was created to do something positive and have twisted it so bad to do something negative. So tonight I pray that you're blessed and just know that, you know, music, it does make a difference on our youth today. They listen to it all day. That's what they're being influenced by a lot of, a lot of times. So um, just be blessed with this song. The song is called Moving My City, and the words are talking about, you know, our generation and how slowly it's dying off. S slowly. Go, go ahead, bro.
God bless you guys tonight. All right. Come on, let's give them another round of applause this evening. We know it's very commendable to have young people who have come from a lifestyle in which they were struggling, involved in gangs, involved in drug activity, and to have them come up here this evening and, and, and produce positive rap music to reach young people who are just like them out in their community and also here in the Southwest community. Come on, let's give them a hand one more time this evening. And this evening, my name is Andrew Rayberg, and I've had the privilege of working with Victory Outreach Santa Rosa for now about five years with the youth ministry and our, our youth outreach activities here at Victory Outreach Santa Rosa. And it also is my privilege to, to share with you for a brief moment to let you know really what it is our young people are going through today. Just recently in the Press Democrat, there were, there were two articles that were written for today and then also yesterday they were released that give us really an insight so what young people are experiencing today, what they're experiencing in schools, what they're experiencing there on the streets. So this evening, I'd just like to share that with you. And the first one I'm going to share with you is an article written about a local high school here in Santa Rosa, Montgomery High. And what they did is they had about 90 young people write diaries or journals about what's going on in their life. And then they turned in these journals. And this is what one of the journals read. It says, Mom, strung out on crystal meth. Strangers slumping on the couch, emitting the stench of drug addiction. Worries over what and how much a little sister is getting to eat. It says, I run my house in more ways than a child should. The diary entry writes or reads. That's, there's something happening in our young people today. And you can, you can feel it. Just in those words that young people, that young person wrote that they came from their heart, what they're experiencing. And the second article I want to read, and I'm just going to read the title. It says, boy, 13 years old, arrested in a park shooting. A 13-year-old boy taking a weapon and shooting some other young men because of a color, because of the gang that he's a part of, looking for something, looking for purpose looking for meaning and willing to go to that extreme to find purpose in his life. And this evening, I just want to let you know that Victory Outreach Santa Rosa, we're dedicated to reaching the young people in Southwest Santa Rosa. We're dedicated to reaching the young people in our community. And it is with several outreach, youth outreach activities that we have here in Victory Outreach Santa Rosa, that we've been very successful over the years with our God's anointed now and new generations. The acronym we use is the gang. We call it the gang to relate to those young people that are looking for something to relate to, to, to relate to those young people that are out in the streets who come from that background. We call it the gang, but it's not any ordinary gang. This gang isn't out there wreaking havoc on the streets. This gang isn't out there making people scared to walk down the street, hello? This gang is out to make a difference in the community. This gang is out to show that young people can do something positive in their community. They can make a difference. That is the gang that we have here at Victory Outreach Santa Rosa. And this gang reaches out to the junior hires, those who are 11 to 13 years old. I always like to say it. I know that many times we look at junior hires and we see them just into the boy bands and they have their texting language but there was a young person there that needs help there's a young person there that needs guidance and we've been very successful at reaching them about and also at giving them activities to expend all that energy they have we know junior hires they got a lot of energy right oh yeah if you have a junior hire you should have said yes they do right there <laughs> but we give them great activities with our high school we, we we encourage them how to make right choices there at their high school how to make it a positive impact there at the high school, not to give in to peer pressure, not to give in to the, the pool of the gang lifestyle, not to give in to the, the pool of drug addiction, but to stand there and, and, and be a good choice maker there at the high school. And even at the young adult level, we have our next level uh, outreach that, that has activities for our young adults that encourages them to get their education, encourages them to go and, and get jobs and be productive members in our society and contribute to our community. 
So we have all that here, and it's because of this. It's because of articles like this. It's because of young people like this. That Victory Outreach, Santa Rosa, is doing what we're doing today. To reach these young people. To not only reach these young people, but to reach the mothers. To reach the fathers. To reach the brothers. To reach the sisters. To reach the sons. To reach the daughters. To live a great lifestyle. A great life away from drug addiction. Away from gang. And like I said earlier, this was a night of celebration. A night of award. Recognition. And tonight, I would like to invite uh, Sister Kim Guadarrama and, and Janet Hilton up to the podium up here. And, and I'd like him, Brother Mundo, bring those, please. This is our pastor's wife, Sister Kim Guadarrama and, and Janet Hilton. And tonight, tonight they're going to help me. And help us here in Victory Outreach in the Southwest community. We're going to, it's our great, great pleasure tonight and an honor of recognition for our mayor of Santa Rosa, Susan Gorin. And I would like everyone to stand right now. And I want to give a, a warm, warm welcome, a round of applause. If I could ask Mayor Gorin to come up, please. And Mayor Gorin, on behalf of our, our, our pastor's wife, Terry Hilton's wife, Janet Hilton, I would like them just to share something toward, toward the recognition of, on behalf of you, okay? We just want to thank you so much um, for coming. We appreciate it. We're excited here. And, and you know, I want to thank all of you for helping us to make a difference. And we, we truly... Um, we love the city here and the surrounding communities, and we surely look forward to, to be able to partner with you to take back our streets. And once again, we just appreciate you coming. We thank everybody. We thank everybody. And we're really celebrating tonight because we know that, that God, God is really going to help us to take back the streets. And we really believe that God has given us favor with the gang member, the alcoholic. Not only that... Not only that, is there are people that are hurting that has never done drugs or alcohol, especially with the economy today. People committing suicide, losing their jobs. And you know, we're reaching out to those people as well, and those people are coming in. So we're excited for that, amen? So give yourself a hand. And, and we're gonna have you, the usher, escort you back to your seats. Mayor Susan Gordon, this is not all that we want to uh, give you and present you with. We, we feel it here in, in Victory Outreach Santa Rosa. On behalf of Victory Outreach Santa Rosa, Terry Hilton, and the, the great and beautiful people of the Southwest community, we want to give recognition where recognition is due. We want to give honor where honor is due. And, and on behalf of Victory Outreach Santa Rosa, and the great people of the Southwest community. We want to honor you, Mayor Susan Gorin. And I'm just going to read this. This is a plaque in, in honor of our mayor here in Santa Rosa. In honor of Santa Rosa Mayor Susan Gorin, who has given her commitment to help and serve the great people of the Southwest community. Your service of love for our young people and your great courage to stand up against gang violence and drug addiction is commendable. And together, Mayor Susan Gorin, we, we can make a difference. Along when we're, we're so honored tonight to be able to work alongside you. So I would just like everyone here tonight to give a warm, warm round of applause. For and we want to honor you with that, okay? I'm unprepared for this. I did not expect to come here and to be personally honored. Uh, instead, I came to honor you, all of the work that you are doing and will continue to do in the future. Just to give you um, 
A brief anecdote about my life. I moved to Santa Rosa about 25 years ago, and I was fortunate in that I grew up in a family that didn't have a lot of money. I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but I had a family, and a family who worked hard to put food on the table and made sure that I went to school and had the opportunities that allowed me to become mayor. And I am still in awe of, of a life that I was not prepared for. It came late in life. And I, I dedicate my life in, in working with a community and raising my children and taking care of people in the community. And suddenly I was thrust into political life and a magical thing happened. I was, I decided to run for the school board of the city of Santa Rosa because I saw some problems happening in our schools. And I knocked on the door and an older gentleman answered the door. He invited me in and we sat for about an hour and a half and talked about his vision for Santa Rosa. And we forged a connection because he revealed that he actually worked in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He and his wife par participated in an area of Pittsburgh that was known as our lowest income area, the Hill District. This was a, a district of very hardworking people in Pittsburgh, a history of people working in the steel mills, of not having enough to eat, of always having the hardest jobs, and the, the children growing up in that area. He had a vision for Santa Rosa of creating a safe haven for our children because he recognized that too many of our children are growing up without families that care for them, without enough to eat, and it being endangered on the streets, even in what should be bucolic Santa Rosa. I was elected to the school board. I worked with Dorothy and Al Golden to develop a series of after-school programs modeled after safe havens, what we call the safe haven for youth. And those were the beginnings of some of our after-school programs in Santa Rosa today. Courtesy of you and so many other people who voted for Measure O, we finally have a bit of a funding source to continue to work on the after-school programs and our community programs now to do exactly what you're doing right here, to create the safe havens where our kids can feel nurtured, can feel safe, can connect with their peers and their teachers, to get the community mentors and the mentoring assistants of their, fam of their teachers. Reach out to those kids to let them know how valuable education is. This is the way you will be successful. And if you're not getting the encouragement at home, you will get the encouragement at school. Too many of our students tune out education. They don't understand the value of education. They don't have the parent support. Too many of our kids don't have enough to eat. Too many of our parents are working two and three jobs so that they can't look after those children. And I think the role models, what incredible role models, what incredible stories we just heard. It's your church, it's the people right here today who are reaching out to our young people. And on a personal note, that several weeks ago, as mayor, I get to answer all of the email to the city council. And a neighborhood organization who took such pride in their neighborhood were very distressed when one Friday evening, just about every house, every sign, every park bench, every car was tagged with gang graffiti. They were shocked. And I worked with that neighborhood for the week to let them know that they've been living in a very isolated existence because the people in Santa Rosa, Southwest Santa Rosa, 
experience this every day. There are kids who are afraid to stand at a bus stop. There are kids who are afraid to walk to school. There are families who are so demoralized after repainting those fences time after time after time. I think the story that was read previously about the 13-year-old young boy who was arrested, when I read that, my heart plummeted because that was the 13-year-old boy that was arrested for the tagging in Bennett Valley. I thought that we could, through restorative justice, save that young man. And sadly, he made a choice that may prove to be irreparable in his life. I'm hopeful that when he goes through the justice system, that there will be a Victory Outreach Church or, or a Measure O program that will reach out to him and say there is another way. I love the inscription on the front of this because that's, that's part of why I'm here. United, we can. It is the city, it is the churches, it is all of you who constantly provide. Step outside of yourself. Reach out for those young people. Show them a different way. Sit down with them to help them understand how to read and write English. Sit down with them and help them understand how to do mathematics. Sit down and help them understand what job skills are all about. We can, as a community, have to do better. We will do better. And I am so privileged to be here tonight to learn a little bit about who you are because I consider you now part of the community partnership. But the reason I, I've known Terry Hilton for a number of years and in lots of different venues and, and issues, sometimes we're at odds and sometimes we agree totally. He invited me to be part of this celebration tonight and I didn't know very much about your pastor. So I was reading through the story and I learned about a very gifted individual. And I'd like to read you a few uh, paragraphs that, about Pastor Guatemala that you probably already know, but I was privileged to learn. So this is for you. For the last 12 years, Pastor Jose Guadarrama has been on the front lines in the battle against drugs and gang violence. With much success, you and Victory Outreach Santa Rosa has helped countless youth, men and women realize the freedom they can experience away from gang involvement and drug addiction. addiction. Having been a gang member himself, Pastor Guadarrama has experienced firsthand the devastation that being involved in a gang produces for the individual, their family, and the community. The battle to reach generations, generations to come is tough and requires individuals of courage, I include all of you in that, and resiliency. Today, Pastor Guadarrama oversees seven ministries located within Alameda and Sonoma counties. Through the Ministry of Victory Outreach, Pastor Guadarrama is dedicated to the task and mission of seeing people's lives changed for the betterment of their community. And now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Susan Gorin, Mayor of the City of Santa Rosa, on behalf of our City Council and our City, do hereby acknowledge and congratulate Pastor Jose Guadarrama and Victory Outreach Santa Rosa. Thank you. the
incredible honor that you have bestowed on me and the wonderful plaque. I was truly not expecting that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. And it's, uh, we want to, before we bring the pastor up, we want to read uh, another proclamation. This is from the Self Esteem Living Foundation uh, and the uh, Concerned Citizens for Southwest Area Youth. And this, uh, this says, Pastor Guadrama, a passionate, dynamic Southwest area resident and leader, has brought credit and distinction to himself through his personal commitment to improve the quality of life of people worldwide and especially in Santa Rosa, California. He has personally taken over the construction of a church facility. The church here, which you're standing in, serves thousands of people monthly in Southwest Santa Rosa. He has led the drive to bring together volunteers and working with the area groups like the Southwest Area Business Association to create a community center that will serve the youth and the underserved of this community. He has also worked with uh, creating a total nonprofit corporation separate from this church to be able to facilitate and manage a, a community center. So it's not a faith-based thing. Uh, the pastor has also uh, served as a, uh, the founder of so many programs for recovery of alcoholics and addicts and other uh, drug addictions, uh, not only here but throughout the Bay Area. Uh, and he has also oversees, uh, like the mayor said, uh, several, seven different organizations here in uh, Northern California. But he is also South Africa, Indonesia, and the Philippines. Uh, yes, yes. So it is therefore with great pleasure that the Southwest Area Business Association, Concerned Citizens for Southwest Area Youth, and the Self Esteem Living Foundation do this day, the 18th of June, 2009, recognize and honor and give best wishes for future endeavors to Pastor Jose Guadrama. Yes, go ahead and give them a Yes, yes. And that is signed by Virginia, Virginia Dorn, a member of the Board of Directors of the South and West Area Business Association, Elizabeth Colson, Memorial Hospital, a registered nurse and board member of SWABA, and Terry and Janet Hilton. We... Uh, all three have signed this certificate uh, for you, Pastor. Now, will you come on up? Yes, let's hear it for this to you. It's a plaque called Taking Back Our Streets, the key to the streets of Santa Rosa. five-point sermon now this is dangerous this is dangerous giving the microphone to a preacher in his church we can stay another three hours but I I really really want to thank everybody for coming out tonight and I know that uh, this award that has been given to us tonight uh, my name has been brought up over and over again. But I want to say to you that it doesn't happen with one individual alone. 
this is an award that we my wife and I receive on behalf of Victory Outreach Santa Rosa because we know that it's been the leadership together of Victory Outreach Santa Rosa and every one of you that come here week after week and not only you but also many different businesses in our community and many different uh, 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 elected officials also in our community that we've been able to accomplish what we have accomplished as a ministry and so this is not my wife and I's and, and my wife and my award is really our all together as Victory Outreach Santa Rosa so you can give yourself a round of applause I read a statement the other day that I really, really loved and I believed on that. It says that my wife, I believe she is the one that brought it up. And I enjoyed that statement so much that I said, that's what I want to bring out uh, tonight. Just one minute. And it's, all it says is that you cannot make wine with one grape. You need a cluster of grapes to be able to make wine. And so tonight, the only reason why we've been awarded this particular taking back of our streets award tonight is because it hasn't been one person but it's been a cluster of individuals that have the same heart the same mind the same vision to change this community for the better i believe also that as we move forward as a ministry that we need this cluster of individuals that will be awarded here tonight in a few minutes also but we need the elected officials we need the business community and we need the faith-based community to partner together and find our common ground where we can come together and do even greater works than what we've seen this far. And I believe that as we do that together, we can really truly make a difference. You believe that? Then give yourself a round of applause. Of course, my wife has been a great, not only helper, but many times she's been a great supporter of everything that, that I do, even in, in uh, taking care of the family and the children so that I can get to do other things as well and get dedicated to what I believe that has been my calling in this particular city. I thank the leadership of Victory Outreach here in Santa Rosa and Victory Outreach International for giving me this opportunity, an awesome opportunity to lead and to be able to exercise the gifts that I believe that God has given me. And then also, I want to thank Terry Hilton from the Southwest Business Association and also his wife, Janet. I want, you, I want, to, I want to acknowledge them because many times they don't get the credit that they deserve. They work hard in this community. His wife as well, who represents the concerned citizens for Southwest area youth. And, and we, we want to thank you, Sister Janet, also. And it's been all of us together, working together, that make the difference. And so I really believe that in the future, we're going to be more effective in reaching not only our now generation, our young ones, but the families that so, so much need our support so um, I look forward to work with every one of you and I'm going to ask Daniel Garcia to come up and he is going to give a recognition I believe to other businesses that are partnered together with us to make this thing possible okay so let's give Daniel a good round of applause thank you well, good evening my name is Daniel Garcia. As Pastor had mentioned, I have the privilege of serving with them here in this beautiful church, in this beautiful city. And I've been given the honor to recognize a few community leaders that have invested in their community. And uh, briefly about myself, I used to open up by saying that I was raised by wolves. But out of respect for wolves, I no longer say that. But I was raised in the throes of alcoholism, poverty, and violence. And I was reading the paper today and seeing a good friend of mine who an old friend of mine who uh, got life without the possibility of parole. And I know if it wasn't for this ministry and this outreach that reached out to someone like me who was hurting a gang member who was in and out of the penitentiary, that could have been my face on the front page of the paper. So I want to thank Victor Outreach as well. And I want to acknowledge a leader who has invested in her community in more ways than one 
and I don't believe she is here today, but we do have uh, a, a, an award for her. And she has, through her generosity, has enabled us to build a, a professional sound studio where we were able, our local rap group was able to produce their first CD that has had a tremendous impact not only here, but around the world. So you can go ahead and give 2C Click a big round of applause. And the woman that, that I want to honor today, and I don't see her here, but if you are here, Marja Mejia, we thank you. And would everybody here help me honor her? And Marja Mejia is the chairwoman of the Lenten Band of Pomo Indians. And next, I'd like to acknowledge another individual who spearheaded the tattoo removal in our city uh, through the Social Advocates for Youth. And would you join me in honoring and recognizing Gary Iacini? <laughs> and last but not least, I'm privileged and honored to call this man a colleague and a friend. He works selflessly, tirelessly uh, in our efforts of combating gang involvement and incarceration through employment acquisition skills. We together work shoulder to shoulder uh, right there at Hope Works. And what we do is we help instill purpose, identity, and value in people that have been overlooked oftentimes. And through his tireless efforts, we have grown. He has grown a, 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 uh, an organization to, uh, to many staff, a huge budget that I don't get to see, and I thank God for that. But uh, he, he really is instrumental in helping people in the community make that transition from incarceration to being a productive member of, of our community. And he is also instrumental in helping people from our very church find employment and find dignity through work. So would you help me recognize my friend and executive director of HopeWorks, Dale Reese. And at this time, I'm going to call Pastor Barry Edelman to the podium. Wow, isn't, isn't this beautiful? The lives that have been transformed, cities that are being transformed. Wow, this is, this is awesome. This is really, really awesome. How many know that people do care still? People really do still care. And tonight I, I've been honored to be able to, to recognize uh, different individuals and, and honor them also. Um, this is from... Mr. Ephraim Carrillo, he's a supervisor in District 5 of County of Sonoma, and he wasn't able to be here tonight, but Mr. Ephraim wrote a short uh, recognition towards Pastor Jose and his wife, and it reads like this. It says, Dear Pastor Jose Guadarrama, congratulations on being honored by your fellow citizens for your efforts and achievements with Victory Outreach. Your commitment to the disadvantaged and the struggling members of our community has made an important impact on individuals' lives and also their families. Thank you for being or for bringing hope to those most in need. Mr. Ephraim Carrillo. And also tonight, we want to go ahead and recognize two individuals that are working with organizations that have contributed towards Victory Outreach and, and helping accomplish the task of, of helping transform individuals' lives. And, um, and they've contributed also towards this task of, of helping rebuild our communities. And tonight, if you're here tonight, uh, we want to go ahead and recognize with this certificate of recognition in honor of Gail Atkins with the Redwood Empire Food Bank. Are you here tonight? Okay. Well, come on. Let's let's give her honor. Okay. 
because the Redwood Empire Food Bank has went the extra mile in helping partner with Victor Outreach in rebuilding our communities. Because how many know that, that uh, the men inside the, the recovery homes, they got to eat, right? Right, men's home? We got to eat. So uh, they have gone the extra mile in partnering with Victor Outreach. And then also we want to go ahead and recognize with this certificate of recognition in honor of Jay Jackson with the CA 4K Rentals. Go ahead. If you're here tonight, we would like to give you this certificate. This is, this is the individual. Uh, the, he's the owner of where we have our men's recovery home. They're on 525 Roseland Avenue. And the men's recovery home has been there for, I believe, 14 or 15 years. And, and come on, yeah. And this is a place where literally hundreds, if not thousands of men have come. And they've had a place to come to experience a new life. They've had an experience of a new hope of wanting to live again. Because this is a place that is free of charge for men to come and begin to get their lives back together. Maybe they was involved in gangs or drugs, broken families homeless, living on the street, the disadvantage of our society today. But there's a place for them to come, and that is the Victory Outreach Recovery Home there on Roseland Avenue. And we want to say thank you, Jay Jackson, for being patient with us and partnering with us and contributing towards this task of helping transform, if not thousands of men's lives, with the CA 4K Rentals. And I also want to personally say thank you to Mr. J. Jackson because in 2001, it was in that home where I came and had hope once again. I come out of a lifestyle of 13 years of drug addiction and alcoholism. And because there was a place that was free of charge that I could come and get my life right, I'm here today alive with purpose and with a new beginning and with something to live for and with something to strive for. It's because of a place that Victor Outreach provided that I could come and, and be taught the principles and the values of living once again and, and, and succeeding in life. But not only succeeding in life, but living a significant life and contributing back to the communities and helping people get their lives back together again. How many know that's what it's all about? It's about helping others. And it was in the men's home where I found purpose for my life once again. And I want to say thank you, Mr. J. Jackson. And then also, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to hand over the mic right now, but I can't leave this pulpit without giving recognition and honor towards a man that gave his life to help people, and that's Pete Sepulveda. And that Christian recovery home. Come on, give him honor, because he gave up his life for us. He gave up his life. He's no longer with us today. He has passed on. But how many know he's in a much, much better place. Amen. So at this time, we want to give a warm welcome to Sister Minette. She's going to bless us with a song.
not only to Americans, but to everyone all over the world. And I just want to thank you. I, I am privileged, my, my family and I are privileged to have been touched by Victory Outreach. And I'd like to uh, share a song with you tonight, and I hope that you're blessed. everyone give her give her a warm warm round of applause come on yes thank you sister Minette at this time you may take your seats once again and we're coming to the to end of our keys to the streets awards ceremony how many have had a blessed time tonight how many enjoyed themselves tonight well we thank you for all for coming tonight and at this moment it's my Esteemed pleasure to recognize a couple more of the business, local businesses here in, in the Southwest community and also in um, 
the Sonoma County area. And at this time, it's, uh, I would like to ask an individual that, that has been, we want to recognize tonight. And this is from Broken FM, Mary Lair. We want to give you, if I could have you come up here, please. If I could have you come and if I could have the ushers. Mary Lair, in, in honor of your commitment and service to work with Victory Outreach and the great people of the Southwest community, we, we honor you with this uh, certificate of recognition. We thank you for partnering not only with Victory Outreach Santa Rosa and the Southwest community, but also our youth our young people, that you, you've, you've been a, a great inspiration and allowed our, our youth is, uh, to see clicks, music to be played on the air, and we thank you for that, and we want to hold you in, in high esteem tonight. Thank you very much for being here. It's an honor. We also have another individual. Now I want to say this because this individual is, is a is a humble individual and it blesses me to to give her recognition tonight because she's also one of our our local business businesses here in in the southwest community and uh pastor jose and myself were honored to to get to know her and meet her at one of the meetings with with the southwest business association uh we were acknowledged there and the, our pastor was acknowledged there at the that meeting and uh, we were so honored to be able to meet this individual and I was speaking with her I've been speaking with her numerous times and and I've thanked her for for partnering alongside with Victory Outreach and and this is what she told me and, and I'm going to say this not to embarrass her but just to show you this is a humble individual she says what have I done she goes, I own a print shop. What have I done? And I want everyone to know and recognize uh, Virginie Dorn. And I want to ask her to come up here tonight. And if I could ask you to stand this evening and give her a warm, warm welcome. Virginie Dorn, we, on behalf of Victory Outreach Santa Rosa, the Southwest business community, Victory, you may be seated. We want to thank you for your commitment because your, your print shop has allowed us to better reach our community. And we want to honor you with this certificate tonight. I want to, I want to have you come over here because I would like you to... Thank you. Thank you very much. It's such, a, such an honor to, to honor our guests, our fellow co-laborers here in the Southwest community, Sonoma County, Santa Rosa, Mayor Susan Gorin, we, we thank you for coming out and all our esteemed guests tonight. But I also want to recognize Rocky Luciano, Rocky Lucio. Please stand. Give him a warm, warm welcome tonight we thank you for coming out and it's a blessing to meet this individual this esteemed gentleman he's he was a big part and he still is with the police association so we want to acknowledge you tonight and also before we close tonight this was a ceremony of taking back our streets and it's my blessing and my honor to work under my pastor and encourager. There you see that he used to be a fighter in the ring. But today, he stepped out of the ring and he got back into the ring to fight for our community. And I, I would like everyone to stand, if you would please, and help me honor our, my pastor, Pastor Jose Guadarrama, for, for taking the initiative to, to fight for for our families, our community, we give you honor because we know we're, when honor is due that we're to give it to you. And we thank you, Pastor, Pastor 
You may be seated tonight. And, and also I want to just, I want to thank everyone that came out, our different churches that came out from, from our region, our esteemed guests that came out. We, we thank you for coming on. I, I just thank God that you all came out and that you came and shared this special moment. And at this time, I would like my pastor to come up and... and all right. No, re really, what I what I feel as we conclude tonight is that for many of you, many of us that grew up on the right side of the tracks, uh, it's difficult sometimes for us to really understand or really comprehend that even even our our our. our, our city officials that uh, have these positions to make decisions for our community that sometimes we cannot relate with them or maybe that there's barriers but we cannot work together uh, I want to let you know that tonight one of the greatest things that I have gotten tonight is to really see that uh, our mayor Susan Gorin that she is a real person with real feelings, with a real heart for the community. And, and that I can stand here, I stand in the gap, and I can say to every one of you, don't matter where you come from, don't matter where you've been, you're a person, you have not been forgotten, there is hope, and we have some powerful city officials that understand where we're at, and that we together, as we partner together, there is hope for us, there's hope for this community, and together we will continue to make a difference. We will continue to make a difference in this community. So I, w I want you to stand all together. Let's stand. And I'm just going to ask you to go ahead and... Uh, just bow your heads one time. I want to I wanna close this in a word of prayer. But I really believe that as we partner together with city officials, with our business community, and us, people of faith, we can truly make a difference in this community. Father, we thank you for this time that you've given us together. I pray, Lord God, for blessings upon every individual life that is here this evening. We thank you for our mayor. We thank you for every city official. We thank you for our police department. We thank you for our you know, firefighters, Lord God. We thank you for our education system and our school districts, Lord God, all throughout Santa Rosa, Sonoma County. And we thank you, Lord, for all the businesses, not only Southwest Santa Rosa, but all throughout Santa Rosa, Sonoma County, in our cities, Lord. And then we thank you for each and every one that is here that have got a, a touch from you. I pray that from this moment on, that there will be barriers that will be broken down. And I really pray that in your name, we will come together as a community and as a people, and that there will be a big difference in people's lives because there are some people with a common vision to be able to help and go out of ourselves and reach somebody out so they can have a better life. We thank you and we praise you tonight as we go home. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for coming every one of you. They're going to be they're going to be playing some music. You can shake a few hands and, and you can give high fives, a few hugs and then you can consider yourself dismissed. Thank you one more time.